Hi there, my name is Emily and I just want to thank you for downloading one of my PowerPoint templates from Teachers Pay Teachers. This is just a quick tutorial on how to install the template that you downloaded in order to use it in Microsoft PowerPoint. So you want to navigate to wherever you saved your template, whether on your desktop or in a flash drive. And it should show up as um, a file that looks like this. It looks like it has several slides stacked next to each other. And when you hover over it, it'll say type Microsoft Office theme. That's what you want. So you'll double click the file that you downloaded from my site. And it should just automatically open Microsoft PowerPoint. So when it comes up like this, most people from this point would just go ahead and start creating a PowerPoint presentation. So they would um, go to insert, a new slide, and they would start working on a PowerPoint. However, what you should do first is you should save this theme so it will be forever available in your Microsoft PowerPoint. So you want to make sure it's a template that can be used over and over and over again. So you want to click on the design tab and up will come the designs that are already available in Microsoft PowerPoint, the default designs. Right now it says this presentation is the one you purchased, but it is not saved yet. It's just there because you opened it. What you want to do first is go ahead and save this presentation. So you're going to, under the design tab, click this arrow so it expands and choose save current theme. And up will come a box and your computer has already decided where it wants to save this theme. So don't change that, just save it where it comes up. So you'll want to name it and click Save. If it asks if you want to replace it, go ahead and say yes. And then you'll notice it now is in your drop-down under Custom Themes. It's this presentation, but it is also now in your Custom Themes. And if you were to close PowerPoint and then go back and open it back up, go to design, it would be here for you to choose. Then this is where I would go ahead and add new slides based on what you want to make. So this is, and then I would save it for whatever presentation you're making. But this way, this design is always available in your templates. The other thing about this is I have already preloaded fonts in this template for the titles and the text. If you do not have these fonts on your computer, these are going to come up as some default on your computer. However, if you want these fonts, you will have to install them. So in the file, along with your template, there was also a font that matches the template that you ordered. If you would like to install this font, it's pretty much as simple as double clicking. It opens up the font book for your computer. You need to click install. It already is installed on this computer. You will just say yes, okay, and it will install on your computer. You may need to restart your computer for the font to show up in your font list in Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint, but once you do, it will be there. Again, thanks for purchasing from my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Enjoy your template.